Well, hello again, everybody. Boyd here with you, and welcome back to the channel. This is part five of our AMT Klingon Katinga Cruiser buildup. And you can see in the shot here, I made a lot of progress on her today, guys. I've got the uh, uh, secondary hull put together. You can see the tape all over it. It's drying now. And uh, we have this huge gap that we see on the starboard side here on the engine pylon, which is standard on this kit. It's going that way on both of these builds. Over here on this side, you see it's not nearly as bad, but uh, that's okay. We'll take care of that with some uh, Evercoat and some sculpting work. But uh, we have the neck mounted on here as well now on the forward bulb. You can see Elliot Brown's beautiful uh, photo etch detail that's on that. That really turned out lovely. And Elliot did a fine job on that, and it really makes uh, doing the windows on this a snap. And they're beautifully in scale, and they're so detailed and crisp. It's really nice, and we've got more of those to do once we work on the uh, the bridge top, uh, and we'll be putting those on a little bit later. You can see that we've got the uh, impulse deck mounted on here now, and uh, everything looks really nice on it. Really happy with it all, and uh, we've got a couple little light leaks here and there. Uh, there's one underneath of the uh, shuttle bay here above the impulse ports. I've got some uh, filling to do there, but it's really minor, and uh, it'll be easily solved, and then... Uh, you can see we've got our uh, disruptors on the bottom of the wing, the forward edges mounted up there. A couple light leaks around them to take care of as well, but uh, they're all lit up like they're supposed to be. And I've got some canopy glue inside the uh, uh, engine ports there drying, and there's tape over them right now, but uh, everything's looking really good on this. And then you can see I've got it propped up here so the neck dries nice and straight, but uh, you can see some more Elliot's photo etch part there for the officer's lounge. That's really nice and adds some nice detail. We've got that lit up really nice too. Let me go ahead and turn the power on now. And you can see our lighting. It looks really nice and crisp. And uh, boy, don't those windows look beautiful. I'm really pleased with how those came out. And uh, I've got a little, little bit of touching up to do. I can see around that band a little bit. What you basically do with that, guys, is leave that band clear and put your photo etch right over the top. You can see we worked in our little red uh, spot right above the... Uh, uh, torpedo emitter just like it's supposed to be but uh, uh, you know you gotta kind of uh, work that in and then you may have to go back and touch up a little bit around if you get a little light leak around that band and uh, I see I've got a little bit going on there and I'll, I'll get that cleaned up but it looks really good and it's all very minor repair but uh, you can see we've got our windows going in the front here they're kind of covered with tape but all of our lighting is looking really good we've got our lighting here on the wings and on the manifolds and at the rear and there you can see the nice flickering engine exhausts. Those will look a whole lot clearer once we remove all the tape and put those nice uh, photo etch detail grills on there. We'll do that at the very end. They're kind of delicate. I'm afraid I'll dent them or something if I um, put them on now. And you can see on the bottom, there's our uh, disruptors that are lit. So everything on this whole model is lit just like it's supposed to be on the movie, guys. I'm really happy with all that. There you can see even the officer's lounge is lit there at the back. And those two little lights on the bulb are exactly where they're supposed to be. And then here you can see our little red window glowing in the center. And it really, really came out good. Let me turn the lights down here now. And you can see now we have our nice... Uh, there's the nice impulse uh, intake grill glowing really nice. I can see i got a couple little touch-ups to do up in here for minor light leaks. But we'll take care of that. And uh, there's our nice wing lighting again, and of course our lighting on the sides of the nacelles. And at the rear, you can see all the lighting's coming through nice and bright on this and crisp. So, uh, like I said, I kind of I kind of stay away from using fiber optics whenever I can. I just uh, don't trust that that stuff might snap after a while or something bad go wrong with it or come apart where it's attached on the inside. But here we can see uh, the front. Okay, let's go ahead and. Uh, fire a torpedo guys I'm gonna start the process here it'll take just a second for it to get going wow I really love that that is so cool it comes on just like it did in the movie and here we'll catch the one firing at the rear That is so cool, and that was well worth getting that kit, guys. I really am glad I put that in this model. And uh, 
that's going to be fun. When, once I get it on the nice base with the backlit picture and the sound effects and everything else that are going to go with it, it's really, really going to be cool. But uh, here we go again one more time. All right. Well, I'm really happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and kill the power now or it'll just keep on firing. Uh, so everything worked out really good on this, guys. Really happy with it. Uh, everything's drying right now. When I come back on the next video, we'll be doing some putty work and getting all this uh, seams and light leaks taken care of. And then we're going to start working on the top of the bridge here. We've got more of Elliot Brown's nice photo etch parts to go on that to get some nice windows on the upper part. And we'll do the nice little red window that we saw on the front and the rear of the uh, battle bridge. And uh, everything is really coming along good. So you can see I've done some uh, more color spraying on this as well. Now this is just the basic green. Uh, somebody asked me if I'm going to be doing anything metallic on this. And uh, uh, basically no, because the uh, paint scheme on this model, there was no metallic on it at all. Uh, it was all done in like pastels and weathering colors and different shades of green and like I said some red oxide and some dark grays and things like that. Uh, it was meant to look very very weathered and uh, there is a little bit of metallic that goes uh, the gold kind of flower detail that goes around the photon launcher and then the uh, Klingon insignia that we'll paint on but other than that yeah it's going to be pretty much uh, different chains like I said of green and everything. We'll show you some pictures of the uh, studio model and we'll show you what we're talking about but we're going to really stay accurate with this one so okay guys well that's a wrap for this one everything's coming along great she's going to dry overnight here and i'll be back at it probably tomorrow afternoon and uh we'll start uh getting that bridge work done and fixing some of these light leaks and some putty work so i'll catch you for that one until then build those models everybody have fun take care and happy modeling everyone